Here we have a TAC single disc CD player, model CD-P1250, from, oh, probably mid-2002. Now my dad gave me this unit in probably 2000, I think it was 2008. I used it in my garage. And it's always had this electrical gremlin in it that wanted to either lose the display, and it'll just read a bunch of gibberish or nothing at all and continue to play, or it'll continue to read the gibberish, play, and then freeze, or it'll just lock up and do nothing. Now, I took this to an electronics friend about two years ago. He seemed to have fixed the display. It doesn't go off at all now. Sometimes it'll still read the gibberish. Sometimes it'll just have the top part of the line of the uh, LCD display on, but it doesn't completely go off. So we've still got some problems in here somewhere. Now, I brought this in out of the garage to clean it up. I was going to take it back out and put it back out there, but I wanted to look to see the repairs that my friend had done. Well, I haven't got that far into it because something else, and it doesn't do it every time, caught my attention when you turn this unit on. Okay, inside here, we have our main board. We have our button board back here on the back, right here. This is our power supply. And then all the way back here on the back is the LCD display. And it's all tied together by this ribbon cable, including the connection to the eye itself. Now you know back in the day, TAC used to build really good equipment. I'm not saying this isn't good t uh, a good uh, piece of equipment. It's just another product of the throwaway genera generation circa 2002. The first problem that was incurred with this player before I got it was that somebody had broke the CD door. Somebody had shoved it in and stripped the gears right out of it. Well, that was replaced by a service tech and it was put back into service. And then finally it just started doing all the gibberish crap and then it gave up. Now that time it spun up good. It actually did what it was supposed to do. As you can see, there's a little bit of hesitation there when you first turn the machine on. See? Uh, you're right. It's wanting to go the wrong way, right? I noticed that too. And it'll continue to do that for three or four times, and then promptly read no disk. Now if you eject it, it says open, put it back in, and then it reads the disk correctly. Why it does that, I have no idea. But after it's done that, everything's good to go. Unless you stop the disk and shut the player back off, and nine times out of ten it'll throw it backwards again and do what it just did. Now I'm going to pull this circuit board out, test these capacitors and some of the other stuff on it, check them for odd or weird oddball values, but I'm thinking we have a bad connection somewhere in here. So all this stuff ties back to this board right here. And then that board answers to this board. Anybody's got any comments or uh, anything you'd like to add to this video for information, please let me know. I'd be more than interested to see what you have to say. Thanks for watching.